My name is Jelle, or better known as Nightfly. Uh, today I'm going to talk about how it all started for me with Lucid Dreaming. It started all at the beginning three years ago, where I was just chilling at home, watching a YouTube video, and it was about Lucid Dreaming. And at first I was like, what the hell is this? I never experienced one. Is this real? Is this fake? So I first started asking uh, a friend of mine at school, what what is lucid dreaming? Do you know what it is? And he was like, yeah, of course I know that is the thing you can like do stuff in your dreams and fly and fight. And it was really, really, it was like, oh, this is like everything. This is the best thing ever. And I was, I was pumped up. I was like, damn, is this all possible? So three, that three years ago, I started doing research how to start with lucid dreaming and I came across the most beginner friendly method out there called MALT. So it was a video from I believe Tip Herod or, or Daniel Love and it was about MALT and I started watching the video and was like do I have to do all that stuff for only, only to get lucid? But after a couple of weeks, I was like, okay, I will just start trying. It was summer holiday. So I went to a vacation to a camping in um, France where I started the journey. It started with the app called Awoken where I wrote my dream journals in and I did reality checks every 10 minutes, five minutes, I don't know, way too much. And I had like two alarms, one at 3 a.m. and one at 4 a.m. And within one week, I already had a lucid dream. But it was a really short one, five seconds, and it didn't really happen a lot. But that kept me so mo motivated to go further with the lucid dreaming. I didn't know back then what was the best way, or am I struggling, or do, do I pro uh, progress really slow? So I joined the Lucid Dreaming Discord, Lucid Realm, back then. And I asked a lot of questions to everyone. And they helped me really well with understanding about Lucid Dreaming. And I started getting more Lucid in the second week. And third week I also got Lucid. I was really motivated and that helped so much, so quickly. And then after the holiday, school started again and then my motivation went down a bit. I still tried, but not that much. And I still got lucid once, once a month, once or two times a month. And yeah, you, you see the difference then if you're motivated or not. And of course, everyone has like a moment where you do nothing. So in the first year, I had like two months, three months break, and then I did for one month again, and then I had another one month or two break, and then I realized something, what was possible with lucid dreaming, that is that you can explore everything, enjoy everything, and that was what the reason that I started again, trying with lucid dreaming, and I was like, I want to help others also with lucid dreaming, so I... I was like at the end of 2017 where I, where I was like people maybe wants to have everything in one place instead of looking for everything. So I started the discord called Night Realm that still exists and is still running pretty good. There's a great community with great people in it. And back then I had a couple of people that joined with me. And we created tutorials about everything, guides, videos, everything to help people. And that second year, I was a lot more active with Lucid Dreaming. I, lear I learned new methods like Wild, Wild, Dialt, all kind of methods to, to keep me motivated and to keep improving. Uh, after Malt, I started doing a lot of Wild. 
I thought that is the method I will enjoy the most. And after like two months, I had my first wild experience. It was pretty insane because uh, I never felt getting into the dream instead of getting lucid within the dream. And it was a lot more vivid, a lot longer for me. And that kept me so motivated. When I had that wild, I started reading for for days getting more information about wild and then i learned about doubt dream exit induced lucid dreaming so i was focusing on that as well with a lot of alarms and if you see that that you you, you have like a goal in mind that you can do it every day but that is almost impossible so in the second year i was just just doing whatever was on the internet trying to get as much as possible in the ending of my like motivated moment i got three lucid dreams till between three and five lucid dreams a week in that moment of time i was pushing way too much i had reality checks i did melt i did dream journal i did daytime journal the nighttime journal i had four alarms i had everything to just get lucid but that's for me is not the best method so i got like a down moment for like three weeks four weeks i even was inactive on my own server and people were asking where is nightfly but i left and when i came back i wanted to do something different and then that's when i started talking with sensei he was saying like you don't have to do reality checks to get lucid you don't have to do this that you can just do the basics and also enjoy it so that's what i did for the le- yeah the last six months of the second year and he helped me get through it and learn different ways I sto- stopped doing mild, I stopped doing reality checks. I did a different kind of dream journal instead of going for the a lot of words. I started doing small, like one sentence, two sentence per dream. And I enjoyed it a lot more than getting doing so much stuff. And it Im- improved me a lot. And I learned a lot about the wild techniques in that time and i started doing other stuff like meditation breathing techniques mindfulness that kind of stuff was like really interesting for me because uh, i think everyone has his own way for getting lucid and for me it was it was just for me that i thought the best way for me to get lucid is through meditation or some kind of form of it like wild is in some kind of form and i kept pushing that and i stopped doing everything else then i came in the last yeah, third year of my, my progress and i was only doing till now i'm only doing meditation to try to get lucid and it's at the moment till now it's not the greatest method and I will not recommend anyone to do it but I still believe that if I keep pushing with meditation and maybe get an anchor in it that I can just meditate bef- before I sleep till I wake up and with that meditation I get lose it all night that's the goal and that's probably never going to happen in the near future um, also in the last year our server called night realm started growing a lot and i was teaching people how to lucid dream and what i learned in the first two years of lucid dreaming and it's a lot of fun and then we started our youtube channel with podcasts and that's where we are here right now in 2020 and for this year, my goal is to keep pushing the meditation and work on my vividness, awareness. 
and try to get my dream go uh, goals going like like a, a, pers a persistent realm uh, like a lot of stuff I just want to enjoy what's possible with lucid dreaming instead of doing standard stuff what I've been doing for the past three years like flying and that kind of stuff so that's my goal for the next three years I hope everyone enjoyed this video and I hope someone learned something of it and maybe sees a way he can do it better or worse than me. <laughs> bye bye.